Alright, hello and welcome to another Marvel Snap deck highlight. It has been a little bit, been a couple days, uh, but I just got Cassandra Nova this morning, um, so I thought I'd make a deck highlighting her. So this is similar to my Ajax deck with some small tweaks uh, added in Shang and Cassandra in place of Thing and uh, Dr. Octopus. So minor tweaks there. Uh, I've played a little bit with the deck in Deadpool's Diner and it's had a lot of success. So uh, I felt really good. But yeah, so that's kind of the deck. Uh, also, tomorrow, today as of you seeing the video, uh, I am going to do a live stream to push um, Deadpool's Diner, try and get the Cassandra Nova variant. So if you guys are interested in that, uh, when you see the video, I might be live. I'll probably be going live around like noon Eastern. So if you're available, come say hi. Are there these cards affected by negative? No. Um, I don't really want to play a card. I don't really want to play Hazmat. That Sunspot may become Shangable in the near future. Um, depending on how big this sunspot gets this turn, we might be able to hazmat Shang, or Shang hazmat, because uh, order would matter there. That is less important. Airbones Goose. Uh, we can oh we can hazmat Cassandra. This will go Abomination should be free. So you should be able to go Abomination Ajax. Um, we could. Abomination and Shang middle. They would go down to 10, we would go up to 12, uh, and we would leak energy. That could be a winning play. And we'll just do this. It seems like the safer play. If they have Shang right, we're screwed. Oh, they just have their own Ajax. Easy. The diff, Cassandra Nova. What can I say? Was it actually the difference maker? No. But I, I want to say it was. Consider subscribing if you enjoy the content and like i said uh check out the stream tomorrow 12 eastern noon eastern hopping into game number two other big not marvel snap related news uh i just got a pet gecko a crested gecko so that was exciting today um she is 
I think a little confused as to what the heck's going on right now but she is adorable and if I remember I will post I'll add a picture in here of her a little like snippet of what she looks like uh, red guardian Um, I'll just magic asteroid M, I guess. We have a pretty good hand, honestly. They can mill my deck all they really want. I have the cards I need. Honestly, I'd like to get my red guardian. That's kind of the only card that I still want. But otherwise, we're good. Uh, I mean, they got my Shang probably is why they snapped. That is heartbreaking. Could pull it. Um. That's not the card. Oh, well, that's his Shang. They pulled my Red Guardian. Um, this puts me to 15 left. I feel like 15 is a lot left. We go up to we go up thirteen, right? Like I feel like that's good. That's my red guardian. How is that their best play was to only play red guardian? Oh. Because there's a whole nother turn. Oh my goodness. Well, when did they snap? Eh. Ugh, Cannonball is a card I'm regretting not having gotten. He's just a very, very good card. Like a very top end card. It's just good. All right, hopping in to game number three. Hopefully for something a little better. And I remember how turns work. Some sort of junk deck. Could be bounce. Ideally, I would simply remove Raft because I don't think we ever win Raft with this deck. Bounce. Well, we got our Limbo. Um, I think I'm just gonna Scorpion right. There's no point in pretending that I could win Wrath. Cassandra Nova. Guess what? I can do the same thing, buddy. I mean, if they don't take Raft this turn, I say I'm gonna take it. So, that's unfortunate. Um, I think we just do this and chill because we can't shang anything we can't rogue anything high evolutionary isn't worth the cost and we don't want a hazmat right now we want to wait for them to get cards on the board i mean there there is a, a logic that we should hazmat this turn but they also could have falcon in hand so it's kind of why i'm 
leaning to hesitancy. Because that was free. That was free. There should be a three power hood. It was free. So they still have two energy, could be Falcon. That is just like maybe the worst card that could have got pulled really. So, I mean, you know, that's cool. It's really cool. I think we just hazmat and potentially retreat next turn. If they Falcon this turn, I'm gonna cry, I think. Abomination, I think, is the best card we could pull here. Don't know if it can win it for us, but it, it's the best pull. Because then we could Shang Abomination. I, mean, I guess we should like play this. Like One power is better than nothing. I mean, I guess we Rogue, because they like never have an ongoing card. So you might as well take the two power. And then we're still soaking energy, so it's fine. I'm, I assume that this bishop becomes shankable. I mean, maybe it doesn't. They have five slots on the board. Well, it's now shankable. Interesting. So Bishop's still shangable. This puts us at six power. What was their Kitty Pride at? Seven? So it won't be shameful. That's heartbreaking. Um. Yeah, I mean, there's just... We just have the best two cards in our deck just sitting at the bottom. I mean, it happens. That's the thing, though, is it like... If we pull the abomination, we actually win the game. Like just without a question, we win the game because we could have shanged abomination middle and there was nothing they could have done about it. Um, it's unfortunate. Like, I actually think we win this, like we win this matchup, like eight out of 10 times. We just had the worst possible hand. All right, hopping in to uh, four, game four. I say with the utmost confidence, because counting is my strong suit. Yeah, I mean, I think the other deck that Cassandra is obviously very, or should be very strong in, is Darkhawk. And I'm interested in, oh, that is a very ugly card. So much about that is so, just absolutely hideous. Um... But it, Dark Hawk, because you're going to have a big deck. Your opponent will have big decks. So Cassandra should get pretty large. Red Guardian? Well, close enough. I'm fine with staying because we have Shang for their Red Hulk. If we are able to get a turn six, that would be ideal. Honestly, probably for the better if that happened. Um, I'm kind of 
torn on what the playline is here. Uh, a part of me thinks it's I hazmat, and then I play out Ajax on five into Crimson Cosmos, and then I assume Abomination will be two by turn six because all of the cards they could have except for like one are negative because we did Scorpion Cassandra Nova. Like I said, like, as much as they don't want to cheapen my Abomination, like, they just have to play out cards. Like, it's... They don't really have a choice. And my Ajax right now is only 9. So, the longer they take to play out cards, the worse it is for them to be able to try and kill Ajax. Um... We just do this. We soak one energy. Um, Cause this beats vision moving to either of these lanes. And it also beats vision staying here. Because this is 10, they go down to Ugh. If we abomination right, we win. Unfortunate. I knew it was a risk with playing Ajax early that they could Chang it. God, we like barely lost too is like the most annoying part, most frustrating part. I would say the biggest crutch that this deck probably suffers from is it really wants magic. Like, if you get a turn 7, that's where this deck, like, will really shine. Outside of turn 7, it's kinda... Oh. Especially because right now there are a lot of cards that are able to... Like, remove the ability for turn 7s. Um, I think I just magic third location because I'd rather just not deal with it. I'd rather not deal with it potentially being bad for us. Magic. Crystal. Crystal. The hell do they have crystal in their deck for? 3 bro 3? Mr. Nate. Sure. Um, Rogue could be really good. We don't really need two Shangs, but here we are. Uh, Rogue will be really good because they probably have an Iron Man Mystique in there. Uh, that's that's good. We can we can work with this. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll just do that and kind of show my hand a little bit. Eh, I guess I don't need to. I'll get cheaper as the game goes on. I could hazmat. Make him free. Eh. Scorpion is kind of like the card we're looking for. The worst part is, is that, like the more that I look at this, the more I just go, man, that's a tough situation for them. And then it's like, you know, it's kind of winnable for them. Um. 
It's only gonna be three power, but it's still fine. Ajax could be pretty huge for us. If we pull him, that is. Oh my god. Give me my cards. I think we lose right. Because I'm assuming they have like an iron heart or something. So this is the <clears throat> this is the game plan. I think this is probably a we're supposed to retreat game, but I'm not fully convinced. I think we lose right because even like if they have uh, like an Iron Man, like a negative Iron Man, we lose right. We could tie right at best just not great I don't know why they have the Sarah kind of weird to me like they're running native like how much do your cards cost my guy I am so I there's am. the Iron Man Mystique is middle. Surfer. Yeah, like I said, probably was supposed to be a retreat, but I was curious. We actually ended up winning right, which is the lane that I definitely thought we were going to lose. If we would have pulled Ajax, we would have won the game, but, you know. Who's counting the amount of times Ajax has been at the bottom of our deck? Alright, hopping into the last one. Hopefully ended on a win. I, I literally was running this deck all the way to Cassandra Nova, and now that I'm recording it for a video, it's just fucking shits the bed. The most on-brand thing ever, really. Well, that's not ideal. Guess let you Gila, you get to stay. Uh, magic here, and then we Cyclops DC. Cool. You still have your text. Use up your text. I'm checking because the I I feel like the copycat thing is hard to tell because I, I assume this deck's running copycat. Um, makes it hard to tell. We have rogue, so I'm not worried. Dude, that shit actually pisses me off, because when this ability goes away, this fucking turn, these cards aren't going to have been hit for some dumb reason. Makes no fucking sense. The hell? Oh yeah, they did. I, I played a game where literally it didn't, I had like a thing where Cyclops popped up and said he didn't have a target to hit, and I was like, wait. What do you mean you don't have a target to hit, buddy? Uh, we did Scorpion their hand, so... They should have... Um, what if we just do that? This card isn't negative, so I don't give a shit about it. If I just Shang it, I hope they play out cards that are negative because they were hit by Scorpion. 
and then it makes my abomination playable in the same turn as Ajax, which means they have to play one card. That's the that's the number we're shooting for. Is one. How many guards are there with negative affliction? Just these three? No, there's four. Dark Rock is. That's 11 power. Oh, wait, no, okay. <laughs> so, if I ever play, how much power is this? Plus 10? This is a ballsy play, but like if I ever play into Lechigila, like they just gain six power. Wait, they played Cork after. Didn't they play the Cork second? They did play the Cork second. So Mystique isn't even in their output range. So I will play into Lechigila. I'll throw middle, I don't care. They have priority, so they can't shang me. My biggest fear is Eliath, I guess. Like on Eliath left, I lose the game. What? I mean, like, Loki, that was a good idea because I was kind of banking on them to have played cards that would have buffed Ajax uh, But I just kind of played around it. Also, I would have won breaker. So Wouldn't really matter there Anyway, if you guys enjoy it, please leave a like and comment. Let me know and subscribe to your checkouts. I'll see you in the next one